Well, hello my beauties. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie and I'm back with another video for you guys. Today, I will be sharing how I cover up all of my acne scars, my acne pimples, hyperpigmentation, uh, dark uh, under eye circles, all of that. I just started using this method, you guys, because I needed some something to cover up all of these scars. And when I use um, the peach concealer or either the orange concealer, it still kind of seeps through. So for this method, it only calls for a concealer that's closer to your skin tone and plus a concealer brush, maybe a stripling brush. You can use either an eyeshadow brush, blending brush, or whatever brush of your choice if it's comfortable for you. But I did use a Real Technique concealer brush that's for correcting. And I also created this look using some of the makeup products from my October Boxy charm. So guys, if you're interested in seeing on how I cover up all of my hyperpigmentations, dark spots, acne pimples, acne scars, please continue watching. And if you're new here to my channel, go ahead and subscribe down below. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload content. So guys, let's jump right into the video. Start it. Well, okay, my beauty, so let's get started. I'm going to take my concealer. And for the concealer, make sure you use a concealer like I mentioned in the intro. To use a concealer that is closer to your skin tone. So I'm going to use my Matte Pro Long Concealer in the shade NC45. And I'm just going to apply it to those uh, dark, hot pigmentations on my face. And I mean this area right here where it's acne. And I'm not sure why I'm breaking out. Then I have like a like a little dark hyperpigmentation here. And my, my eyelids a little bit dark on the lids. And I do have melasma here. And that's something uh, hormonal. So it's kind of fading away. And I've been working on it. So I'm going to take my concealer. And then I'm just going to take this correcting brush here. You can use any brush of your choice like I mentioned. And I'm just going to take just a little bit and I take it and I just put it on that area that I'm trying to cancel out. And right around my where the um, melasma is. You can put it under your eye if you want to, if you want to cancel out some of that dark uh, dark circles around your eyes. You don't have to just blend it right then. Just kind of spraying it where it's covering that area that you're trying to cover. Then I have a little bit around my nose here from my, from my glasses. Then here where I have the little hyper, uh, hyper pigmentation right here on my jaw area just right there in my area where the crease is and then you can just use the amount you don't have to use put it on the brush I'm just putting it on the brush you can put it onto your back of your hand and just apply it as, as needed so you kind of want to let it dry down this is what I call a dry down method you let the concealer dry for just probably a few seconds and then blend because you don't want it to dry and then you have a time blending it out and then it's kind of like will cake your foundation up. So you don't want that. You don't want your face to be cakey. So while that's drying on that side, I'm just going to blend around the outside of this area here where I have the most hard pigmentation and acne prone area. And just kind of like press it into the skin. Not really just rub it, but press it. Okay, so you want them. Okay, so you guys, you see that. You can't really just see it. My battery is finna die, you guys. Let me change batteries and I will be right back. Well, okay, beauties. 
what I did, I went ahead and did my brows while I still had the concealer on my face and added me some earrings. And, um, yeah, guys, how y'all like these here? Gold fringe light earrings. And, God, y'all, I don't think I paid much for them, but I love them. And I'm going to show you guys my shirt. This is what my shirt says. Um, Maybelline, matte, and melanin. And they got mint. And I picked this up at one of the ball games. I went to a college football game and they were selling some shirts like this. So now I'm going to share the brush on what I'm going to use. And this brush, you guys, is a brush from Real Techniques. It's a Instapop brush. And it's a foundation brush. And the shape of it is so different. Um, it has a more of an angled flat head kind of brush and it applies your foundation so flawless and I watched another young lady here on YouTube she uses this brush and she swears by it so when I ran into Walmart I did go to the real technique aisle and they had it and I think I had gotten it on sale for like five dollars and yeah so and I will be sharing with you guys some other brushes that I got from Real Technique I ordered online so yeah stay tuned for that video the sealer has already been sitting and everything you can see it's not as noticeable but I can add just a little bit more if I wanted to so for the foundation I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me matte poreless foundation in the shade 340 in cappuccino and I'm just gonna put just a little bit on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna apply as needed I'm just gonna take my Sigma large concealer brush F65 brush and then I'm just gonna apply the foundation to my face So I'm going to take my Instapop brush, foundation brush, and just and you just pat it like that, you guys, softly onto the face. Just press it into the skin. And by the way, you guys, this here is one of my Holy Grail foundations. I really love this foundation. It's my go-to for work. If I don't want to use any of my other ones, this is my fa uh, favorite drugstore so far. Okay, you guys, so what you think? Do I need to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see? See how flawless that is? It's very flawless. The brush. Just kind of hold it like this. Press it into the skin. Okay, so that is what my foundation look like see how even toned it is you don't see much of my hyper pigmentation seeping through and I kind of like it like this ever since I started doing this technique it has really worked for me it's just concealer that's closer to your skin tone and you let it dry down for about I say two to three seconds not real long 
because you don't want it to really dry out. You want it to be able to move around when you get ready to blend it around the areas so where you can get rid of the harsh lines. So yes, after I do that, sometimes I let my foundation sit for a minute. As soon as we apply foundation, we so quickly to put something on top of it, my, like either our face powder, contours or whatever. I kind of let it sit for a second or so and then I go into my concealer. And for the concealer, I'm going to take these new concealers that I got from my local beauty supply store. They are by um, Absolute. I don't know if you guys have heard of that brand, but I did run across one of my great YouTubers. Uh, she's a great uh, beauty blogger. And she was she purchased some of these from a beauty supply store. And I did get three of these. They're very small. The fluid ounces are not that much. I can't remember because I have the boxes sitting over there. I got one in deep warm, deep warm, uh, medium warm, and tan. So these here are the um, concealers. So I'm going to go ahead and take this here real technique brush here is for correcting correcting as well for redness. So I'm just going to use it to blend out my concealer. And what I do, I just dab in. And as for these concealers, they are very radiant. They are the radiant coverage. And I like that because mature skin, you want to have a kind of a moisture kind of concealer. I don't want anything to really dry out my under eye. So I'm going to go ahead and set this concealer, my little small Real Technique sponge. And I think I just want to wet it on both sides, you know, like this. Because it got the little funny shapes, like square shapes, where they fit right up under your eye. And then I'm just going to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm going to apply that under my under eye. So and I'm not going to let that stay on long. I'm just going to take my Sigma large powder brush F20 and just kind of dust that off. So next I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. And I'm just going to apply that to the places where I haven't set yet. Next, we're going to go ahead and bronze the face because it's all flat right now. And I kind of want my face to be bronzed up. I love bronzer. And I did come across the CoverGirl Queen Collection Ebony Bronzer. So far, I love, love, love it. So I'm going to take my Vanity Planet, which is a powder blush brush. And I'm just going to use this to, I'm going to dab into it if you overdo it just take your your powder brush and just go back over it so this here is my Sasha buttercup and I'm just gonna it just uh, it's not even damp so I'm not gonna let it bake on there that long so I'm going to go ahead and get started on the eyes. For the month of October in my Boxy Charm, I did get this hair palette here by Purr. And it smells so good. It's Midnight Masquerade. You got your blushes and highlights over here. Over here. And then you have your eyeshadows here. I would probably take the transition shade from my Wet n Wild palette. Use the transition shade here. So 
So now I'm going to go ahead and take mask off, apply that to my lid, take my Morphe 503, it's more like a flat blending brush. So I'm going to take my Sigma Diffuse Crease Brush E38 and apply Sneak Peek, which is this pretty brown, and put it in my outer, outer V area here. I'm going to go back into Mask Off, that green again. And just kind of blend both of those together. brush that I had to blend in my transition and whatever's left on the brush I'm just gonna enchantment so I'm gonna take hidden secret and apply that to the apples of my cheek so next I'm gonna go ahead and take my it cosmetic mascara and apply just a little bit to the top and bottom lash line so I can apply some lashes okay you guys I applied my lashes and they are from the kiss brand um, and next I'm gonna take uh, this liquid lipstick by Kat Von D from my boxy charm and I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this NYX by Coco So you guys let me go ahead and work the hair and I'll be back with you guys in just a second. 